According to an article on Chase.com, a minimalist lifestyle is described as intentionally living with fewer possessions, focusing only on the ones you need. It's not a new concept, but it's one I've been hesitant to adopt, even though I've been intrigued with the idea for a while. Here's my dilemma. It's not always easy knowing what to cut. Maybe you can relate. And to take the thought a step further, is it even necessary or practical to embrace a lifestyle of bare essentials for everyday living? A few weeks ago, when my nephew needed a new sketch pad, it was nice to have an extra one on hand for him. And as my niece worked on a special project, having a small collection of craft stickers tucked away in my closet turned out to be helpful and appreciated. These are simple examples, but they highlight the reality that for most of us, everyday living is filled with the people we love and the stuff we use to live, work, create, and discover. Over the years, my older nieces have enjoyed going through old photo albums from time to time, and even though they take up a good bit of space, I'm glad I have them. I'm also grateful it's a tradition that can be passed down as part of our family story. Still, every once in a while, I find myself browsing through online commentaries on minimalism, feeling like I'm at a crossroad, a place where I know I have too much stuff, but where I also know stuff is not the enemy. It can be a complicated friend, though, you know? In the Bible, Jesus told the rich young ruler, to sell all he had and follow him. Yet we also see where Joseph was sent ahead of his family to build, store up, and prepare for the coming years. Like so many of the principles of life, maybe there's never a one-size-fits-all answer. And perhaps letting go and holding on will always look a little different depending on our season. I don't want to make excuse for clutter, but I also want to be realistic. And if you find yourself in the reluctant minimalist camp too, here's a word of advice. Something that's helped me lately is to start small. Take inventory. Organize an overlooked space and determine to become more intentional about collection habits going forward. I don't always know how to align the mindsets of stewardship and minimalism, but I believe both are great tools to carry us toward more intentional living. We are makers and bakers, gardeners and creators, people who travel abroad and gather in community. We need art supplies and electronic gadgets, crock pots for the church potluck, and cake pans for the celebration at work. We need tennis rackets and picnic blankets, the beach wagon and extra chairs, cozy pillows, inviting home decor, and a few thoughtful mementos to remind us we are loved. Well, maybe we don't need all of these things, but they do make life a little sweeter, don't they? That said, as the new year approaches, I want to be more mindful about decluttering. If you do too, let's give ourselves grace. Remember, stuff is not the enemy, but our approach to it does matter. 
please let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, friends, thanks so much for your support.